Coffee Tips, Episode 6. Welcome to Coffee Tips with Carla, a podcast on marketing and managing your business effectively. Before we get started, a little bit about us. Coffee Tips is a publication of Legacy Marketing Services. Think of us as the marketing arm of your business. You can learn more about us at LegacyMarketingServices.com. Tomorrow is Christmas, and then we have a little lull before 2019 comes in with a roar. Christmas is a time when we consider our blessings and show our appreciation to those around us. As I discussed a couple of weeks ago, the focus of your business should not be on the bottom line alone. True success and a lasting legacy is determined by the impact that you make on those around you. If you run a business, you have a wide reach. Businesses play an important role in making the community they are a part of a desirable place to live. We have many small businesses in our area that make our community a special place to live by investing in and giving back. Each business is also a community in itself. As you finish out the year and look at your year-end reports, Don't forget to take the temperature of the culture and sense of community in your own business. Is it a place where employees feel valued or is it one where they feel dismissed? Do they come to work and feel like they make a difference and contribute to the common goal? Or is it a place of stress and contention? There are times when culture is sacrificed in an effort to boost profits. This is a short-sighted strategy if your goal is to build a business with longevity. We have this idealized vision of the self-made man, but really there is no such thing. For every successful person, if they're honest, there have been many hands helping them along the way. Whether it was a teacher who took the time to go the extra mile when they were young, or friends who encouraged and supported an idea, or a professional mentor that gave a helping hand. While a founder may have an idea, every successful business is helped along the way by employees who contribute their time and their talent. It is not just about contracts and accounts. The people who help man your ship in the ocean of commerce are just as important. All of us are familiar with A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. It's been retold and reworked in movies such as It's a Wonderful Life to countless renditions on Lifetime. The message Dickens gave in the mid-19th century, in the middle of the Industrial Revolution, is actually the same that Jack Welch gives to business owners today, and that is, put people first. As the ghost Jacob Marley in A Christmas Carol said, business cried the ghost, wringing his hands again. Mankind was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance, and benevolence were all my business. The dealings of my trade were but a drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. Scrooge was given a second chance to make a course correction and adjust his priorities. For the savvy business owner, the welfare of employees and giving back to the community of which they are a part should always be part of the business plan. Christmas and the end of the year are often a time when businesses give holiday bonuses. However, did you know that compensation is actually not the primary determinant of employee satisfaction? It's not. Multiple studies have shown that appreciation is the number one factor. So how can you show your employees that you recognize and appreciate the contribution they make? Tell them. Write a card of appreciation and tell them a specific thing that you appreciate about the job they do. This might be when they went an extra mile to finish a job or when they showed extraordinary patience with a difficult customer. Maybe it is that they do an excellent job training others or they pay attention to detail. What is their primary character quality? Are they thoughtful, considerate, trustworthy, reliable, respectful? Humble, compassionate, fair, or courteous? Are they diligent, efficient, flexible, focused, honest, determined, insightful, intuitive, creative, persuasive, or perceptive? Or maybe they are resourceful, imaginative, punctual, or cooperative. Pick one of these traits and tell them how it makes a positive impact on the team and in your business. 
Don't send it in an email, a text, a Facebook, or Slack message. Get some pretty cards, grab a pen, and write the note by hand. When your employees know that you value not only what they do, but who they are, they will want to do their best for you. Grow your business from the inside out, starting with your own people. So that's enough for this week, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas holiday. Again, I'm Carla with Legacy Marketing Services. And if we can help your business grow, we would love to talk to you. Visit LegacyMarketingServices.com forward slash contact to reach us. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you and your business are blessed and prosper and that you are a blessing in your community as well. Until next week. Bye.